क्लास सिक्स साइंस फाइबर एंड फैब्रिक ओके सो वॉट इज फाइबर फाइबर इज अ मटीरियल यूज फॉर क्लॉथ्स और अदर हैंडमेड क्लॉथ्स फैब्रिक इज अ निटिंग वीविंग थ्रेड टू फाइबर टूगेदर टू मेक अ क्लॉथ ओके सो यू कैन ऑल्सो एक्सपेरिमेंट टेक अ वेस्ट कॉटन क्लॉथ एंड टेक वन पीस ऑफ फाइबर नाउ फाइबर्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स दैट इज अ नैचुरल एंड अ मैन मेड नैचुरल फाइबर कैन बी ऑप्टेन बाय प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स द प्लांट ऑप्टेन आर कॉटन जूट एंड लिनन जूट एंड कॉटन एंड लिनन आर फ्रॉम फ्लैक्स ऑफ द प्लांट एंड जूट इज फ्रॉम द स्टेम ऑफ द प्लांट नेक्स्ट इज द सिल्क सिल्क इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम अ सिल्क वर्म एंड वुल इज ऑप्टेन बाय द हेयर्स ऑफ द शीप ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज द मैन मेड सिंथेटिक दैट इज नायलॉन नायलॉन इज अ सिमिलर टू लाइक वी हैव सिल्क दैट अ टफेस्ट काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल ओके नायलॉन रेन इज सिमिलर टू सिल्क एक्रेलिक इज सिमिलर टू वुल एंड पॉलिस्टर इज सिमिलर टू ऑल द फैब्रिक्स विच आर ह्यर ओके सो लिन एंड ऑल सो दीज आर द मैन मेड ऑफ सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स विच वी uh which is uh, not biodegradable okay now coming to the advantages the natural are biodegradable natural wearing absorb sweat don't catch fire easily the man made are cheaper not wrinkle very strong easy to clean quick dry but this is has a disadvantage that it is non biodegradable now coming on to the next is the first fiber is jute so jute is uh, obtained from the stem of the jute plant and it is also known as golden fiber okay this is golden fiber next one we are talking about is the use of uh, the jute is in carpets and gunny bags handbag to jo hum log bora wagera laate hain that is by the jute and also used in decoration things mat door mat etc the places where it is grown and found is assam odisha meghalaya bengal and bihar so these are the places where the jute is grown now jute fiber and extraction how does jute fiber is being uh, extracted the stem of the jute plant is harvested at the flowering stage okay we have to cut the stem keep it in water or soak in water for few days then stem stem will rot and this rotten stem we will do retting of the fiber so retting of the fiber in which we have to take out the water from the stem and uh, we have to just smash this fiber into and separate them into sep uh, threads and manual separation will occur then we have to again wash it and sun dry then it is ready to use now jute uh, bags and all we all know that is good one okay now climate is warm or humid climate well drained soil fertile and high temperature okay next one is cotton so cotton is a form of uh, cotton is a form of uh, summer wear cloth which is grown in madhya pradesh uttar pradesh especially gujarat andhra pradesh haryana punjab and karnataka and the climate is uh, usually high temperature bright sunlight is required and there is no frost and very light rain okay the soil is black in color and in western india and southern india and alluvial soil in northern india so this is about the climate of the cotton in which it is grown next is uh, the when we burn this cotton it smells like a burning of paper okay just because it is similar to the uh, it is from the plant so it also smells like a burning paper now coming on to the how to uh, separate the, or get the uh, cotton so what we do the cotton balls uh, which are present in the cotton plant when they get mature they burst open they burst open and that is removed by the hand then uh this cotton is a uh, spherical and fluffy type of a uh, thing okay we have to just remove this from uh, the plant and in the process of ginning what is happening the separating by combing 
so from combing we separate the cotton fiber and the seeds inside this so seeds are separated and this seeds again we can grow more cotton plants or if the seed is damaged then we will dispose of we or we can discard it okay so in cotton gin or in ginning of the plant what we do we separate the seed from the cotton fiber now the cotton fiber is here we have to clean it remove the leaves and twigs then clean cotton has to be spun now the spun uh, then yarn we uh, yarning of this then we have to spin it and the process is known as uh, the process of yarn yarning is known as spinning okay so now next one is our gins so gin is what uh, separation of cotton and seed we already know cotton gin is cotton engine okay now spinning a to yarn thread is uh, what is spinning uh, spinning is uh, making fiber okay or yarn thread okay that is by takli uh, uh, and charkha so this is uh, the popular charkha we all know okay by which the cotton is being uh, spinned out and this yarn or thread is being prepared and this also uh, it is also used in small scale industries now in the uh, now this uh, yarn is woven into this yarn or this thread is woven into fabric and arranging two yarn or weaving is by the loom loom is a machine it can be hand operated or power operated so in looms the weaving is done of the two yarn and this thus the cloth is formed which is of cotton and which is very useful so uh, we use cotton in generally summers we use in t-shirt towel sari shirt suit jeans socks bed sheet etc uh, and cotton has one good property that it absorbs water and uh, but it has a dry slowly and have a, a crease easy so it it if we crease it it will uh, easily crease okay next is our next is our uh, wool so wool we use woolen cloths in generally in winters or uh, to warm up the body okay so wool is being uh, obtained from the sheep hairs especially the highly uh, recommended is the pashmina wool which is a special wool by the special sheep and it is highly warm okay it will give you a great warmth and it is expensive also so this is pashmina special wool now wool is generally found in uh, the sheep is generally found in kashmir himachal and hilly places and from there the wool is being uh, wool is being obtained now burning of wool will shrink and melt and uh, smells like burning hair and uh, what what are the things we make of that a sweater blanket shawl gloves and all the winter wears okay made by knitting wool uh, yarn into a single yarn and into fabric now uh, this warm wear or heat trap so in the woolen wear this warm wear is a heat trapping specific the sheep hairs the shearing is removing of hair from the sheep and this hair is packed okay then it is transferred to a mill and there it is clean and what happen next is combed and this clean and combed is uh, hair is separated and it form a uh, spun uh, and then wool are formed this hand woven woolen uh, traps the air and which do not allow the heat to escape thus the woolen wear are warmer so this is how the woolen wears trap the heat and it is made okay next one is a silk silk is a natural fiber that is obtained from the insect silkworm when it burns it uh, smells like a chartered milk okay a uh, meat okay so this is about the silk now uh, silk is being done by the process of sericulture sericulture is a rearing of silkworm for silk production the silkworm has a uh, the silkworm feed on mulberry leaves which is on the mulberry tree okay and this is a food now in the next stage of larva this uh, larva is being uh, produce the silk thread okay and this silk thread is being uh, coiled on the cocoon and this is a stage where the cocoons are being uh, taken for uh, silk uh, ta uh, taken for rearing of the silk and from this the silk is being uh, reared and made so what is uh, the purpose of silk silk warms the body it is a heat absorbent 
इट इज़ स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड शाइनी ओके शाइनी फाइबर एंड यूज इन सारी सूट कुर्ता एक्सेट्रा ना नेक्स्ट वन इज़ लिनन लिन इज़ अ फ्लैक्स फाइबर इट इज़ फ्रेश एंड कूल टू वेयर absorbs water and durable it is dry fast and the old fabric it is around 8000 bc uh, found in egypt egyptian and china belgium holland india also now and uh, this uh, weaving of the grass and twigs were the earliest okay so talking about the history of fabric and fiber so grass we grass and twigs were the earliest and the basket and mats okay next coming is a cotton yarn and jute stem and uh, in india there is a cotton plant in near ganga and in egypt there is a cotton plant near nile river the flax or the linen in egypt is used to drape or cover the body this egypt uh, uh, egyptian uh, don't know how to stitch so at that time only draping of the uh, with the linen cloth which is a natural fiber is there okay next is a synthetic fiber so synthetic fiber is of course it is non biodegradable not good for environment so it is because of a uh, plastic containing okay so uh, it smells also like plastic and shrink and melt so this is all about uh, fabric and fibers i hope you understand thank you